everybody. I am Linda, the Penny Press Puzzle Lady, and I'm going to share with you some strategies on how to solve code words puzzles from the Variety Puzzles magazine. Let's get started. I am, am so excited to share with you some strategies for solving Penny Press code words puzzles. Now, I just love the Penny Press Variety Puzzles magazines. And what happens, there's just so many different types of puzzles. And when you find your favorite, you can buy a magazine with just those puzzles. And so that's what I've done here with the code words. I have a whole magazine of code word puzzles. Woohoo! I'm going to have some good, cheap, clean fun. And you haven't seen me in a while, I apologize, because a lot of times I do these puzzles to relax in the evening. I may be propped up in my bed with my pillows, but I had to figure out how to film myself doing this. So hopefully this video will, you'll be able to see uh, a way that I've been able to film myself, you know, in the evening doing these puzzles. So what are code words? A code word is a special crossword puzzle in which can conventional clues are omitted. Ooh. Instead, answer words in the diagram are represented by numbers. Each number represents a different letter of the alphabet. All 26 letters of the alphabet are used. When you have identified a letter, write it in the code key chart above the puzzle diagram and cross it off in the alphabet given below the puzzle. So here's what we're talking about. And code word one, as you can see, number 13 is the letter A. So anywhere in a puzzle where you see 13, you're going to put the letter A. And they've already started you off with that clue. And then you're going to cross off the A. Number 16 is the letter C. Anywhere in a puzzle you see number 16, you're going to put the letter C. And they've crossed that one out. And 21 is represented by the letter R. Anywhere in a puzzle you see 21, you're going to put R and then cross that off. Now, here's the thing. Only the first code word in this magazine have they given you the clues. All the rest of the code words, woo, you'd ha you don't have any clues. And that's where I'm going to be helping you get some strategies on how to fill in those boxes. But don't fear... If you get stuck in the back of the book, there the, there are the answer key, which I ooh, I rarely, rarely ever go to the back of the book because I just like the challenge of trying to figure it out. And all the years, I don't know, very few times have I had to go to the back. So let's get started. Oh, before I do that, I got to tell you about this fabulous pen. It's called a Pilot Friction Clicker. It's erasable. I love it. So, for example, if I write do that, it's an erasable pen. And you sure need something like this if you're going to do puzzles on paper. Okay, so you guys ready? Let's get started. The first puzzle, code word one, says box 13 is A. So every time I see box 13, I'm going to insert number A. I mean letter A, sorry. 13. And there's usually a lot of A's. The most common letters you'll find are the A's and the E's. And as I said, they had already given you C-A-R in the puzzle. So I'm just looking for the other 13's. If you really have a good memory. And you could put all three of you remember that as you're going along 16 is c and 21 is r sometimes i go horizontally the way i read so and then look at this i had skipped one so now i'm going to be looking for 16 i'm just going oh look see how it skipped an a i'm looking for 16 now just going across the road but sometimes my eyes look 16 is going to be a c looking for 16 16, here's a C, here's a C. Look, see, I forgot an A, I skipped an A. C, 
16 is a C. 16 is a C. 16. Okay, so now I'm going to look for R. 21 is an R. First row, R. Second row, R. Third row, R. And R is one of those double, double letters. Like Mary, Harry. You're going to have double letters like R and a T. 21, R. Okay, next row, 21, R. Okay, this row, this row, here's an R, 21. This row, 21 is an R. 21, R. This row, 21, R. 21, R. 21, R. So, oh, look, see how I skipped one? 21, R. Your eyes are probably better than mine, and you can, in this video, you're probably saying, look at her, she skipped one. You skipped one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> but you know, eventually you catch it. So let's look. So we have all these R's, A's, and C's. Now blank, A, blank, C, A. Ooh, you know what I think it is? Mascara. I can take a guess and say the six is an M and I can guess that the 18 is an S. Well, let's check if I say 16, 6 is an M, and sometimes M is a double letter, so that would be good. So I'm going to be looking for um, number 6. I say 16, I'm sorry. I'm going to look for number 6. Okay, 6. I'm scanning the puzzle for 6. Here's one, here's one. 6. 6. Scanning for six. Scanning for six. And I'm scanning for 18 as an S. You see, I didn't put it in a box. I just want to see if it makes sense for first. 18 as an S. S is also a double letter sometimes. 18 S. Here's S. Here's S. Here's 18S, 18S, okay, so, all right, so I'm just taking a guess. Now, here's one of my biggest strategies, though. You, It's really great to find the Q, find the Q, because then you'll find the U. How do you find the Q? You're looking for a triangle like this. I call it the Q triangle. That means that the Q is going to be in this box and U is going to be here and U is going to be here. Usually in the puzzle there's only one Q. Oh, I forgot to mark off. Okay, so I think L number 6 is going to be M and number 16 is going to be S. So I'll mark off 16 and an S. So what, what I do, I'm looking for that triangle. So I'll scan. And I'm looking for a box that might have something like this. Two, three, three. That triangle like that. So here's a 13, two, five, no, no. All right, so I'm just looking down, going, going down. I usually just go down vertically, go down each row vertically. I'm looking for a Q triangle vertically okay this row going down vertically looking for the Q triangle this next row going down vertically looking for a Q triangle this row oh, oh look so this is what I'm talking about 24 23 23 how do I tell you 23 how do I test this though usually there's only one Q in the puzzle so first I'm gonna scan and see. Okay, if I think maybe 24 is a Q, first I'm gonna scan and see. Is there another 24 followed by a 23? 24. It's usually only one occurrence. All right, so that's good. Only one occurrence of the 24. Now, what about you, 23? 
usually there's not a lot of U's. Of all the vowels, U is not as popular as A or E and I and O. So this would be U, U, 23U, U. You know, that's about right. So if you had as many U's as A's, then you know that U is not correct. So I'm going to say that 24 is a Q and 23 is a U. 24 is a Q and 23 is a U. Q, U. So now what I need to do is find all the instance, instances of 23. U, 23 U. I think I saw another one, 23 U, 23 U. All right, so let's see what I can solve. Once you find your Q word, you that's a really good way to solve. Oh, I see, how, look how I forgot a 13. Here's a 13 right here. Number 13 is A. So we're going to find a word that has R blank Q U blank F blank. And then Q U, okay? And then notice in this Q word, you've got the same letter twice. Okay, so a word that begins with R that has the Q in it, it could be request. Because if I have R, a E here and a E here and a T there, and I can just kind of scan the puzzle, I do see a lot of 26s. The number 26 occurs frequently, so I'm going to say 26 is an E, and I'm going to say that 2 is a T. I just scanned the puzzle and noticed that there's a lot of the letter 26. So I'm going to go and fill in every box that has a 26. I'm going to fill it in with an E. E is frequently a double letter. So when I, as I fill in the 26, I may see another. Oh, see, I forgot 23. I said 23 was a U. Mm -hmm. 26 is E. You usually have, as I said, a lot of... Well, here you go. Here's the double letter. Here's the double E. 26. 26. Bottom row. 26. Okay. And then I said number two is a T. I think we're about to solve this puzzle. 26, I said, is a um, E. See how I forget? See how I look over? And two is a T. See how I can overlook? Because I'm going so fast. And two is a T. 26 is an E. That's okay if you miss, miss something the first time you're scanning through. That's okay. Just go back and fill it in. All right. So, ha <laughs> ha. So this other Q word, I think the first word is request, the vertical. Now horizontal, Q, U, blank, T, blank, E. Okay, it's not quartet because it would have been an A. And it's not a U, and it's not an E. So what other vowels are left? An I and an O. Aha, I already got it. It's it's quotient. Quo Shent. Don't you think? Then that means O would be I. quotient makes sense. That means one would be O. That means fifteen would be I. And that tw and then twelve would be N. So you just kind of figure that out. You you guess it. So let's fill in all the number ones with an O. I love when I can find all the vowels in the puzzle. Oops. O is, aha, uh -huh. look at that. I got sloppy. O is another uh, letter that often you'll have a double letter, like in zoo. So I'm looking for number one. Next row, next row. Here's an O. Here's an O. Okay, I didn't see a double instance of O. And then... T, okay, 15, I said, was an I. Oops, I forgot to cross these out. That's okay, sometimes I don't do it. 15 is an I. I. 
15 I 15 I go to the next row 15 I go to the next row 15 I 15 I go to the next row 15 I 15 I 15 I go to the next row and then 12 is an N N is another n double letter sometimes Okay, 12, we're gonna look for number 12. Fill that in with an N. Here's N, N. Oops, see, look at that. Consumer. 12, N. Go across, 12, N. Namesake, look at that, I can tell already. K is gonna be a 10. Or 10 is gonna be a K. What am I doing, 12, N. 12 N, here's what I mean by double letter. 12 N, go across 12 N. This row, this row, 12 bottom row, 12 N. All right, so as we look across the puzzle, we have consumer. I'm not sure what that is yet. Namesake, I said 10 was a K. Ice. Cap, that's probably gonna be a P. I can put five, I can put a P up there, just in case. Uh, tungsten, probably. Tungsten bulb or something, 11 is probably gonna be a G. Intro, we feel that out. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that uh, I said 10 was a K, so let's try that. Let's see if we can arc. Yes, that makes sense. Go through the puzzle, look for number 10. Okay, one instant, usually sometimes there's only one K. And then I said that I guess that 11 might be a G. A G. Oops, look at the 12, I forgot that 12 in. Oh, here's a 15, I. 11 is a G. I'm guessing that 11 is a G. Okay, so when we look at the puzzle here, ooh, 11 is a G. Let's see if that makes sense. Origami. And we've got something age. I bet it's L, lineage. I bet four is an L, but we'll, we'll get back to that later. Okay, and then I was thinking that five was a P, so because this word could be ice cap. Let's try that out, five P. Yes, there's apron, mm -hmm. makes sense. It's it's making sense. Five. Let's fill out five. Go across. 21. Look, I have forgotten that. Right. Five. Okay, so five. So we've got the consumer. Quotient. Namesake. Okay, this is interesting. Um, remember I thought that four could be an L? So right here, I think number seven is a Z because zinnia, that flower, and over here, Z, Z, seven, let's see that is seven, Z, Z. That's a lot of Z's for a puzzle. That's very unusual. Hmm. But it makes sense because if I look down here, I could have urban. 22 could be a B. And 22, if 22 is B, and then 3 is D, Nadir. So let's go with 22B. Any instance of 22. 22 is going to be a B. 
and then I said uh, 3 is D. D. Three is D. I think I've got this puzzle solved. And then I guess that four is L. L, four is L, four is L. Mm -hmm. So you've got till, four is L. So when you're looking at this puzzle like this, you can see that Z I L C H, zilch would make sense. So number nine would be H. So number nine is an H. Oops, I forgot the L. Number nine is an H. Looking, scanning the puzzle, looking for number nine. That makes sense, an order. Okay. All right, now what do you think this is? Hold what? Double letter. Hold off. Eight is an F. Let's guess, and that makes sense flatbed Frank so anytime let's look for um, number eight as an F ah, we pretty much got this puzzle solved don't we all right so we got flatbed April let's go across flatbed oh okay look at this what, the only letter that makes sense going across horizontally and vertically would be down here by you, a rail. So 20 would be a Y. If I see any more instances of 20, I don't, oh yes I do. Yokel. Mmm. Now look at this, I already can tell what this is. Jewelry. 14 is a J. 19 is a W. 14 is a J. Look at 17. So we're looking for that X 16. 17 is an X. Jewelry, art, zig. What is this? I can't even read my own writing. Oh, unwell, 19 is a, uh, all right. So 19, Newell. So 26, I forgot to fill that in. 25. Well, the only, we haven't used a V, so that V, 25 would be V, that makes sense. Leave. So I, oh, okay, 25, Delve. I believe we have solved this puzzle. Flatbed, jewelry, a rail, zig, art, consumer, unwell, jinxes, quotient, namesake, ice cap, zinnia, tungsten, law, teal, buzzard, hold off, northern, northern, and we've got frank, zilch, origami, apron, newel, 16, bayou, intro, Mascara, clef, okay, request, urban. Uh, oh, cool, utopian. Gazer, waiters, trash, nadir, lineage, yoko. Woohoo, we have solved the puzzle.